Your Excellencies, delegates, ladies and gentlemen. We, the peoples of the United Nations, these are the opening words of the United Nations Charter. A charter that puts people at the center. A pledge to give every person in the world a voice on its future. A promise to help protect the weakest and the strongest from war, famine, and other man-made disasters. Right now, we're facing a man-made disaster of global scale, our greatest threat in thousands of years, climate change. If we don't take action, the collapse of our civilizations and the extinction of much of the natural world is on the horizon. The United Nations provides a unique platform that can unite the whole world. And as the Paris Agreement proved, together we can make real change happen. At this crucial moment, the United Nations has invited the world's people to have their voice heard by giving them a seat, the people's seat. The people's seat gives an opportunity for everyone to join us here today, virtually, and speak directly to you, to you, the decision makers. In the last two weeks, the world's people have taken part in building this address, answering polls, sending video messages, and voicing their opinions. I am only here to represent the voice of the people to deliver our collective thoughts, concerns, ideas, and suggestions. This is our We the People's message. I'd like to thank I'd you, like to thank you for, for inviting me to share my thoughts. We're facing this global challenge of climate change. We're increasingly witnessing impacts of climate change in China with our own eyes. That is already affecting us in a really scary way. Things are affecting our lives. Climate change affects everyone. And will continue to affect millions of the world's poorest people. The people see giving millions the opportunity to talk directly to you, the leaders and decision makers today. Voices were heard from all over the world. We all know what's good and what's not good for the planet. We're too concerned as a society to be inconvenienced. Continue to allow destruction of vital important rainforests. Do you not see what's going on around you? Two-thirds believe that climate change is the biggest issue facing the world. 95% say they have personally experienced it. Drought, rising sea levels, heat waves, bushfires and extreme weather. This used to be my home and my neighbor's home. Being able to stay in our own country is the most important thing. There's days where I just get headaches when it's heavily polluted. People are willing to change their behavior and step up. They demand that you step up too. We need to act now. I call on our world leaders to once and for all accept climate change. With teeth. We need to secure a climate safe future for our children. I'm a very sick little man. As a mother of two young girls, I'm greatly concerned about the future. Let's not work together instead of working together. Have some walls. Do something. It's not your future to sell. So please don't sell it. The, the world's people have spoken. Their message is clear. Time is running out. They want you, the decision makers, to act now. They're behind you, along with civil society represented here today. 
supporting you in making tough decisions, but also willing to make sacrifices in their daily lives. To help make change happen, the United Nations is launching the Act Now bot, helping people to discover simple everyday actions that they can make because they recognize that they too must play their part. The people have spoken. Leaders of the world, you must lead. The continuation of our civilizations and the natural world upon which we depend is in your hands. Thank you.